Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This video is kind of fun and exciting, but I guess nerve wracking at the same time. It is going to be a few days in my life or just a day in my life, depending on how much footage I get tomorrow. But I really wanted to vlog because it's going to be my first time going back to university in person, full time. I am starting my honours degree in animal, plant and environmental science with a specialisation in conservation ecology at the University of the Witwatersrand or WITS. I'm very excited but I am nervous. Obviously it's going to be the first time I'm going to be full time in university with people during lectures, not only in practical since COVID started. And I feel it's nerve wracking because I feel like I'm going back in as a first year, if that makes sense, even though I finished my undergrad and now I'm in my honours because my first year was not the greatest year just both personally and trying to, you know, juggle everything that was going on and trying to get adapted to university. And then when I finally got the hang of things at the beginning of second year, it was like obviously COVID started and I didn't go back to university for like, you know, normal classes, only practicals here and there. And so I, I feel like I'm nervous going in because I don't know, like, obviously what to expect. I mean, I had the leisure of using my laptop and pausing every time the lecturer would talk fast. So I need to get back into fast writing and stuff. But that's kind of how I'm feeling now. I'm both nervous and excited. Obviously, my classes are going to be extremely small this year. They're like going to be maximum between 10 and 35 people. So it just depends, obviously, on what everyone chooses. But enough rambling about that. I am kind of getting ready for tomorrow. I just wanted to actually pack my bag, and I thought I'd show you guys, like, what I'm carrying. So my honest degree isn't that theory intensive. I mean, I have, like, one or two, two theory subjects a block. But there's less um, books and utensils to carry than first year because I just have one huge main practical project rather than like four or five mini ones like I did my undergrad. So my bag that I'm going to be using is this really pretty one. You guys would have seen it on my Instagram. I got it from Vintage Lover Cape Town. If you live in South Africa, it's like a vintage, as the name suggests, store, but they also have like a ton of themed collections of tote bags clothing badges etc and i got a few things from them in december and one of them is this really big tote bag that has a whole lot of vincent van gogh like paintings and things like that so that's what i'm going to be carrying and then obviously i'm not going to pack this in now but i will pack it in in the morning it's my new water bottle how cute is it it's like a cow print i would say but also not a cow print it's just really really cute actually dalmatian that's the better it's 750 moles and so yeah i'm obviously going to need a lot of water next thing is going to be my glasses i'm going to leave my glasses case out so that i don't forget to pack it in tomorrow since i'm going to be wearing it this evening and then my laptop i'm going to pack in tomorrow i need to still charge that and then i also got this if you saw in my stationary haul video that i did in like a vlog style i'm going to obviously carry in my planner I printed out our like honors course like guideline thing so I'm going to carry that and then I also got my theory book but I only start my theory subjects two weeks from now so I can leave that at home but to take down notes for my orientation weeks that are starting for the next two weeks and things I'm going to be taking this this is like super cute it was like 50 rand I'm not completely vegan but I definitely try to stay dairy free and away from all types of animal products but it's a really cute book that I got like for 50 rand and then what I wanted to actually do is I wanted to also pack my pencil case because I've had the same pencil case since like second year which isn't a big thing unless you're like a stationary hog like me and you want to always like have some new things in your life so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to use this folder but I am going to take out all the extra stationary stuff that i showed you guys in my stationary haul video and i'm going to put it in this it just helps keep everything together quite neat tidy so it doesn't get you know spilt with anything or mess so that's going to go in 
and then the other thing that i wanted to put in here is obviously my lunch which will i'll pack tomorrow and then this is the pencil case that i am using this year this is how it looks it is such a beautiful pencil case it obviously says my name right here and i'm a dancer if this is your first time here i am a dancer so for my 21st birthday my one of the gifts my parents got me is the customizable sustainable pencil case it's actually made out of all sustainable materials which is really really cool so i'm going to put my stationery in there and then i will pack it away stationery that i am taking i'm so surprised it fits into this i mean this is my previous one and it was double-sided and i didn't fit as much in here so that's really really cool and I, it like can sit up like well it can sit up like this obviously it can lay down i am going to put that in as well and then the last thing that i'm going to put in besides all the things i can only put in tomorrow is i am going to put in my blank paper because i'm going to have from well, what my schedule looks like obviously on mondays i have a four to four and a half hour break except maybe not tomorrow because i have a meeting and in that time i would like to really get any studying i can get done for my theory subjects so i will carry blank paper so that i can do that in my spare time so that when i come home i can actually relax so yeah i am feeling prepared excited nervous but i will catch you guys tomorrow and film clips and i'll probably do a voiceover just because obviously it's also going to be the first time i am vlogging properly during university time usually i would have just been filming at home when i'm on university but now i'm actually going to university so i will film clips and rather do a voiceover and then let you know how my day goes after that Oh, and I forgot to tell you guys, I already wrote on my sticky notes, I still have a bit left from last year, of what my schedule is this year. It really helps me keep on track and access my to-do lists, but I already did that yesterday.
was also Valentine's Day. My mom and my sister ended up going to a cafe nearby and getting like a drink. I got a matcha. They got coffee and chocolate drinks. I'm not exactly sure. And obviously the Valentine of my life is my sweet baby doggy Cody. <laughs> we got him one of those big bone biscuits I guess. But we had to break it down because he's a tiny dog, even though he believes he's not. So we had to break it down for him. And I love watching Cody, like, eat. I don't know if anyone else does this with their dog. Please let me know down in the comments if you do. But I love watching Cody eat. I think it is the cutest thing to see him chew. And my sister and I just spent time out in the garden because the weather was so nice. And it was Valentine's Day and we just wanted to play with Cody. And it was just such a nice afternoon and we also ended up having a like 45 minute FaceTime call with my little cousin. She's like four and a half turning five in July and she just brightens up our days. So we had a chat with her and it was just so nice. And then obviously, even though it's my first day back, yes, I had some planning and homework in inverted commas to do just to make sure that I'm staying on top of things from day one. Today was super, super fun. I mean, it was nerve-wracking being back at university and with all of the people, but my class is extremely small. There's like only 30 to 35 people and each seat is like obviously left vacant and then the whole row in front and behind us is left vacant so that everyone is kind of far away from each other and you have to wear your mask at all times, sanitize, etc. I met up with one of the supervisors that may be my supervisor for this year. So... If you don't know how honors works, well, at least this is how it works for the university I go for. You have four theory topics, three of which you can choose yourself. And then there's one that is like basic skills that you need, things like statistics and working with different technologies and things like that in global change and whatever subject you're doing. So that's the fourth theory, fourth theory subject. And then you also have to do a research project, which counts 50% of your degree. And so... One of the projects that I am interested in, I'm interested in two. I already met with the first supervisor that I was interested in about a week or two ago. And then the second supervisor I met today and he was so nice and he like invited his own PhD student and also one of his other colleagues to come and kind of give me more of an insight into what I'll be working with and things like that. So I really, really enjoyed getting to know him and his a PhD student and his colleague we spent like it felt like 30 minutes but it was an hour and a half just talking about the project and my interests and where I want to go and they them obviously giving advice and guidance so I have until well I gave myself until the end of February to decide which supervisor I want to go for I am leading towards one more than the other but I will obviously see at the end of February just because it obviously was my first day. Also how honours works, it's not like you just go and register for your subjects and then you're done. Well, at least not for my type of honours degree. We actually get to make our degree ourselves. So that's why there's a lot of meetings and things involved to see which supervisors and which lecturers you want. So I emailed all of the theoretical lecturers that I want to do courses for <laughs> and they all responded and I got into all so that made me super, super excited. It's like one less thing to worry about. So I'm really looking forward to this year. And also I finished early. So that's why my mom took me and my sister out to get like a little drink because today is also Valentine's Day, which I kind of forgot about. But I only remembered when I got to my class and my lecturer, course coordinator person, she like gave chocolates to everyone. I thought it was such a sweet gesture and a way to like seem friendly on like a person's first day at university. But all in all, I think if you're going back to university for the first time and you're going back full time, just know that your lecturers and your friends and things are always there to help you. If you feel like you're overwhelmed, speak to one of them and they definitely will help you. They're not going to turn you down. And if they do, honestly, something's wrong with them. So I would say just go for it and get excited about going back to university in person because I realized after two years on online 
how grateful I am to be able to go back and have the opportunity to learn and interact with my lecturers rather than just online. This is going to end the video just because I obviously still want to relax and spend time with my family tonight. If you haven't already, please do give this video a thumbs up as well as don't forget to comment, subscribe and obviously share my channel or this video with anyone else who is going back to university in person. I hope that you guys have a wonderful week filled with lots of love, happiness, light, positivity and excitement in your schooling or university journey ahead this year. Lots of love. Bye.